Hello creators. Today I am going to start this project, uh, one of my clients, and I'm going to show you how to create from a template. So I have clients that I do podcasts for on a weekly basis, and I don't want to dump the music bed or the effects in there every single time I build a show. So I create a template for them. And in this example, um, let's go with Liz Bruner's podcast, Live Your Best Life with Liz Bruner. And here is my audition template right here. So I'm just going to double click on this. And it automatically opens this multi-track file. And if I zoom out, and I'm going to do that by hitting my and my keyboard shortcut should show up now. So I'm hitting the uh, the backslash key, I, b I believe that is. And when I hit that key, it um, it brings me all the way out. So now I can see the intro here. There's some music here. There's I do two intros here myself, and then there's the outro and the and the music that plays at the at the end of the show. Cast is so. Um, let me pull in a couple of files that I created on my Roadcaster Pro. They are multi-track files. So what that means is uh, when I pull them in here, I'm going to have to do something special so that I get every single track from that file. And let me go here. And it is in, look at my folder system, by the way. Episodes all numbered from one all the way up to, well, we're, we're going to have 140 before the end of the year. But I'm working on this one, 135, Bradley Rapier. I have raw files in here. Again, these are Roadcaster profiles. So this is going to come over here. I'm going to drag this over. And you can tell it's a, I haven't let go yet, but you can tell it's a multi-track file because of all these lines here, all these yellow lines. So I'm going to hit the option key and then let go and then say, okay. And now it's going to pull the, those multi-track files in, but put them on their own track. It's a thing of beauty. It's going to take a moment because these are big files. They're WAV files, .wav, as opposed to .mp3, which we use in class for assignments. Uh, so WAV files have more information in them, and they are larger. They're heavier files, um, and they won't work as final projects in a podcast. They will not go up in an RSS feed. It has to be M .mp3. And my guess is it's going to take a couple more seconds here. It says two minutes, but then it kind of chugs down to almost nothing and then boom, it loads. Meanwhile, I hope you're having a great day watching this. I hope you're not stressed out. And it is taking quite a long time here. File is bigger than I thought it was. That's okay. I'll take a sip of my water. You can scrub ahead, obviously. Here we go. Whew. Whew. Boy, that was hard. Oh, and it didn't come in correctly. How do you like them apples? After all that, and it didn't work, I'm going to Command Z and undo that. Go back to my Finder folder. And why didn't that work? Okay, so I'm dragging. And I'm holding the option key, and I'm letting go, and I'm saying okay. 
There it is. I don't know what happened the first time. That's happened to me before. I'm, maybe I didn't let go of the uh, option key at the right moment. That could be what happened there. So if this is a good, I'm, I'm going to leave this in this video because if that happens to you, um, just try holding on to the option button and letting it go at a different moment. Now this is going to take forever too. Ah, while that's cooking, I'll show you around here a little bit. I'm zooming in by hitting my equal key or my plus key. It's not showing up as a plus, but it is a plus key. And I do this little intro here. This podcast is brought to you by BrunerAcademy.com, your online resource for the best public speaking, presentation, storytelling skills courses. Become a rock star communicator in any setting. Visit BrunerAcademy.com. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Live Your Best Life with Liz Bruner. I'm Liz, and my goal with each episode is to share stories. I'm lowering those volumes just a little bit. It's of people who are recreating their lives. But you can see why I don't want to build this every time, because this so is... this podcast can continue to inspire next chapters all over the world. Okay, and that's when the interview begins, right at that drop right there. And I'm just going to turn on my cursor app here, just so you can see a little bit better. So right there where that ducking occurs, goes right down. And that's when I begin the conversation. Now here, oh good, it cooked. So I'm hitting my minus key, as you can see over to the left. And I'm zooming out. And I have multiple tracks here. I have both the uh, get the host and the guest here twice. And then I have Liz here. And then I have the guest is, that's me, Choo Choo Charlie, the engineer. And here's the guest twice. So I don't want both of them. So I'm going up here to the uh, move tool, right? And I'm going to highlight these two and delete them. I'm hitting the delete key. And there's Liz. So I'm going to move her up right about there for now. And then I'm going to highlight that those two and this one and delete. And now I'm going to pull the guest up. And for some reason, I have track five muted, so I'm going to unmute that. And then I don't need any of these tracks. So we're going to hit delete. Now, I know that we probably talked a bit uh before the conversation actually started did you see how i did that by the way i highlighted both of them and i move them around but that's where it's going to start somewhere around there but let's find out where the actual interview starts yeah. <laughs> we heard that door shut <laughs> yeah no my wife's gonna bring me in. i'm actually on her computer because oh. just as you can believe it just i did something with my computer Okay, so this is all chit chat. And then at some point, Liz begins the conversation. And my guess is that it's right about here. That looks like she's introducing him and he says, hello, I'm glad to be here. So let's see if that's true. Oh, my guest pioneered a movement. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna move it back here. And by the way, I'm moving the time, uh, the playhead um, by just clicking up here on the timeline. If I go into, uh, time selection tool this guy and i had a chance i can move it around this way down in here um so just a little cork sniffing sensibilities of editing and how i'm doing that but i want to be like right about here more than 20 years ago yeah that's the beginning of the conversation so i don't need anything up until that point so i've highlighted both tracks at clips really and i'm going to pull all the way over here and then I'm going to pull this over here and now um, here's where I have to match that drop right up here somewhere so this is too far away so I'm just going to take this track highlight 
the yellow bar and you can see the hand turns into it like it's grasping that and it's going to I'm going to pull it down you can see it it, it turns blue uh, when I've got it in between two tracks and when I let go I've just brought that down I didn't move it in the timeline I just brought that track down closer to here so that way there I can now hit my equal key or my plus key and I can zoom in and now I can fine tune where she comes in Okay, got to move it this way just a tiny bit. And I've got them both selected because I don't want them to be out of sync, right? If I move this guy by himself, he's out of sync. She introduces him and then he talks over her. So this has to be right there. More than 20 it's pretty years good. Ago, my guest pioneered a movement in Los Angeles that rocked the dance community and changed the landscape for hip hop on TV, film, and live TV. Today. Well, the music ends too quickly there. I like to come out to somewhere around right before she really says his name or uh, gives some factoids, and then I kind of like to bring it in. So let's see how that sounds. More than 20 years ago, my guest pioneered a movement in Los Angeles that rocked the dance community and changed the landscape for hip hop on TV, film, and live TV. Today, as a world-renowned choreographer and speaker, he's yeah. showing people how to groove beyond the obstacles of life. Bradley Wapier, welcome to my podcast. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm okay, so now I've got to deal with uh, Liz's track and Bradley's track. Uh, they haven't been compressed yet. They haven't been limited yet. And I'm going to do that now. And I, I like where these levels are here on the music bed. But they, the, uh, the, the people speaking have to be brought up uh, to a higher volume. So there's a couple of ways to do this. I mean, I could, I could bring Liz up just by, you know, grabbing this uh, volume control here. Same thing. I could do that. But I'm, I'm going to hit Control Z, Z to undo that. I don't want to do that right now. What I think I'm going to do instead is put a, a compressor on Liz and I'm going to do that right here in multi-track. So we're not going to see the file change. And we're going to hear it change. And this, and this is, uh, you know, you will get used to hearing the difference in compression rather than seeing it on the waveform like we did when we did it in, you know, we went into the waveform editor and did it that way. And then you see it change. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to amplitude and compression. I'm going to go to dynamics. <laughs> And I'm going to show you something else in Dynamics, too. You see this? Uh, we always uncheck auto gate. I'm going to leave it checked this time, and I'll tell you why. Uh, here's my compressor. It's set at my favorite settings for this podcast episode for Liz Bruner's voice. Minus 18 dB. The ratio is 4. We do not care about attack and release. And we want makeup gain around 7 decibels. So, but the auto gate, first of all, let's... Uh, Let's sample the compressor, shall we? Rocked the dance community and changed the landscape for hip hop on TV, film, and live TV. Today, as a world renowned choreographer and speaker, he is showing people how to groove beyond the obstacles of life. Bradley Way. Okay. I like the compression, it brought her volume up. I might put a limiter on this next. However, I want to talk about auto gate. So, what auto gate is, is I'm setting a threshold of, vo of decibel volume and I'm telling uh, the program to shut the door and silence anything below a certain threshold. And what I'm trying to do in this case is remove her breaths. Uh, for this podcast, I do remove her breaths. Um, and we started that from the beginning. Some people don't do that. I'm doing it. I, I like the way it sounds with Liz. So I am going to show you that another little trick here. I'm using the time selection tool, and I'm going to grab this little section here where she takes a breath. Obstacles of life. Bradley Wapier, obstacles of life. Bra All right, so I'm going to take the auto gate off. Bradley Wapier, obstacles of life. Bradley Wapier, obstacles There's some kind of clacking noise there too i'll deal with that a little bit later but i don't want that in there right now so i just moved of life the selection bradley wapier of life Bra and you can hear the life 
All right, so now when I put the auto gate on. Bradley Wapier, levels of life. Bradley. It's still there a little bit, so I'm going to fine tune this. I'm going to bring this down to about 35. Bradley Wapier, levels of life. Bradley Wapier, levels of life. And I kind of lose the f at the end of life, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. Uh, I'm not going to get every single breath she takes out because sometimes it's after laughter and it's a and it's a louder sound so but i'm trying to get most of this the lower breaths out bradley wapier levels of life 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 okay i'm i'm liking that right now so now <clears throat> i've probably got most of her breaths out i just saved myself a ton of time going in there and silencing and silencing and silencing all her breaths so we did use autogate today we used compressor today Let's look at her overall level, <clears throat> and we're going to do levels that by life. looking down Bradley here. Bradley Wapier, levels of life. Brad Oops. I mean to be out of that mode. There we go. <clears throat> More than 20 years ago, my guest pioneered a movement in Los Angeles that rocked the dance community and changed the landscape for hip-hop on TV, film, and live TV. Today, as a world-renowned choreographer and speaker, he is showing people how to groove beyond the obstacles of life. I think I want to bring her up a bit. Today, as a world-renowned yeah. choreographer and speaker, he is showing people how to... And I think I'm going to throw a limit on her so that she doesn't go over minus 12. So here we are on this track. We already have one effect. You can see it here, dynamics, the one we just did. Now we're going to go down to slot two. And we're going to go into, <clears throat> excuse me, amplitude and compression and use a hard limiter. The only thing I typically do here is I use a custom preset. I click right in there and I type in minus 12. And now I will sh see that she probably will not go over minus 12 decibels. Let's see if that's true. Let's prove that movement in los angeles that rocked the dance community and changed the landscape for hip-hop on some TV. of some of that is the music move beyond the obstacles of life and let's get rid of that little click while we're at it shall we i'm hitting my plus um, equal key and i'm zooming in there i can click this away and it will remain over here now we have dynamics and hot limiter and there's some weird click here life right there obstacles of I don't know what the hell that is, but let's just try to silence it. Now, on my computer, I have uh, silence time selection and clip set up as Z. So you can see it, dr it dropped that down. Obstacles of... Oh, that isn't where the click is. Let's see if we can identify that click. Stick, 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 stick. Ooh, it's in here somewhere. Hmm, this might be difficult. Let's zoom way in. See how far in I can go? Maybe it's right there. I can't find it. Of the of Ooh, let's try that. I just did undo, undo, undo. Let's just try to silence that section right there. And the obstacles of well, it's there. It's in two places, and it's really difficult to get out. Obstacles of okay. the obstacles of life. I'm going to try doing this. It seems to be in here, too. It seems to start here and go there. So I'm going to grab this blue point and pull it this way and just silence most of it. The obstacles of life. Wow, this is tough. On the obstacles of life. I'm getting it. The obstacles of <laughs> oh my gosh the obstacles of life I, I don't think I'm really going to get it the 
this is the weirdest thing I've ever had. The obstacles of Yeah. All right. I've done the best I could. The obstacles of life. I suppose I could go in and find that frequency. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I wasn't expecting this to happen, but this is good for you to see. I'm trying to get this little tiny little blemish out. Um, so, okay, so let's get over to Bradley. Here, welcome to my podcast. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. He's too low. Uh, he doesn't come in fast enough. So let's do a ripple delete. First of all, let's do a ripple delete. Uh, I've got the time selection tool. I highlighted that area. And now I'm just going to hit shift command delete. And boom, I have cut that section out and slammed the door and brought everything over to the left. So everything's still in sync, but there's less space between when she introduces him and when he says, thank you for Podcast. having me. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. I'm so happy to. All right. So let's go to his track. Let's put a compressor on him. And I'm going to go with the same uh, settings. I'm going to go with the auto gate as well. My podcast. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. That brings him up really nice. Now, one thing about how I recorded this, um, he came in on my from my laptop from Ecamm Live and came back in. So it, it did get compressed already a little bit. So my podcast. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. I'm so happy to have you. The group. Oh, the breath stayed in there. We're going to stick with that. I'm not quite sure I'm going to put a limiter on him yet. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. I'm so happy to have you. He's hitting right where I want him to. Well, thank you, Liz. I'm glad to be here. I'm so happy to have you. OK, there's a breath here. Let's go in there. I can't turn this feature on anymore, that um, noise gate feature anymore. So I'm going to hit my Z key now. I'm so happy to have you. The I have my Z key set up so that it will do, it will silence time selection. But that's not going to happen for you unless you make that happen every time you open audition. Because at the college, every night, they wipe the machines clean and all the settings that you put into uh, audition go away. So let me show you how to do that using uh, the menu items. So you go be in here and you would select the breath. By the way, when you have this little blue arrow turned on, you are looping the section that you have selected. You're looping the playback. I just want to make sure I've got the breath and I don't have part of what she's saying before the breath and part of what she's saying after the breath. I just want to make sure. So that's a nice little feature to have there. And then if you go up to file and you go to, no, not file, you go to clip and you go to silence time selection and clips, you can see I have assigned Z, but that's not gonna be there for you unless you put it there every time you are in audition at the school. And now I just click that and I've got the same have effect. You. The groove -lose. If any of you who are listening have seen the groove -lose featured on the Ellen DeGeneres show, or so you think you can- Here's his breath, goodbye. Or DeGeneres show, or- Okay, I always play back my edits. And there's a good reason why, because that one wasn't complete. Generous show, or so you think you can dance, or even dancing with the stars. Then you have seen you can dance, or even dancing you can dance, or even dancing with the stars. Then you have seen Bradley in action. What a ride. What was it like being on those shows, Bradley? Um, it was re. All right. I don't want the um. It was re. And I don't want the, the too much of a space there. So I'm going in highlighting and I'm going to do a ripple delete. It's shift, command, delete. It shows Bradley. It was really amazing because. Uh, uh, amazing. 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 Uh, right about here. And going just a little bit closer. Amazing. Um, 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 um. It was really amazing because. And now, because I made that cut there and there was right in the middle of a stutter, you can hear that it sounds upcut. It was really amazing. Uh, so I'm going to take the curse out of that upcut by going here to this little square. 
and it's half light and half dark triangles. And if you grab it and you pull in, you are now creating a fade in. Amazing. It was really amazing because it was a It's a little bit better. It was really amazing. Because Might even go just a little bit more. It was really amazing because it was a reflection of this gathering that my wife and I started in LA uh, that was really Am I going to take that? Uh, uh, that was really I could. this pursuit of the culture, street dance culture, that this gathering years of movement created the Groove Blues as part of that. I don't think I'm going to take that uh, out. I'm not going to go after every single one. I go after about 75% to 85% of them. Uh, but I leave a few in there here and there just to make the conversation sound natural. And then the sort of the excitement that people had for this new thing that we are bringing together in terms of the celebration of the freestyle, celebration of the art form, that then next thing you know, we are creating certain projects that were attracting attention. So it was kind of like just this great moments of, of, of not, not. He says of. Moments of, 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 of not, not so much. All right, so I can get rid of all that. Play it back. Moments of not so much recognition, just the appreciation of what we are doing and allowing us to share that that groove uh, i'll take that that out too many that's enough to share that groove further with others it was great how do you describe the groove -a dance style because this was sort of coming on the scene around the 80s or the the early 90s so explain what that is what this street dance style is made up of well um so just in it, it, the quick part is that okay so all this can come out well um so just in it, it, the core. The, all I need is the core part. The core. Watch this. So he stumbles coming into that so answer. Explain what that is, what this street dance style is made up of. The core part is that in the 80s, I was actually in a group called Streetscape yeah. up in Canada, a pioneering yeah. group. Uh, she says, yeah, twice. Yeah. Up in Canada, a yeah. And this is a breathy one. I don't like it. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to silence it. In the 80s, I was actually in a group called Streetscape up in Canada, a pioneering yeah. group. And eh, I don't like that one either. I'm going to take her responses out right now. Up in Canada, a pioneering group. And, uh, and then in the 90s, when... We'll get that and uh, out of there. Streetscape up in Canada, a pioneering group. And then in the 90s, when a Groove Blues, when I formed the Groove Blues, what was new about it was because of the way I... Uh, had had a, had a distance in how I learned. Uh, we can get rid of that. Always playing back. Was because of the way I had a distance in how I learned street dance culture. Um, the way I was wired to. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to clean this up. Uh, we'll go get rid of that. Dance culture. The way I. And that's up cut. So I'm going to drag this little square here and fade in it's culture the way i was wired to present get wired the way i was wired sure the way i was wired to present it was a focus on freestyle which was that individual authentic uh movement that so you can see i'm starting to get a workflow movement that people do beyond the moves when they just kind of zone in and kind of connect to the rhythm that just really inspired me. So we really focused. The routines I made would would not be focused on. I'm not sure what he's actually saying here. Oops. Control Z. Made would would not be focused on choreography. I hit the delete button by accident. So I quickly did command Z to undo that. I made would not be focused on choreography. It's a little upcut. Oops. It's a little upcut. Made would not be focused on choreography as much as that individualism i mixed all the styles together that was new at that time that is i we popped we did that is i we popped we did lock we, we did all right so i'll clean this up but um i'm going to stop the video here and you can see i'm just going to continue on and i've got how many minutes do I? i've got about 28 well there's probably part of this is after she said goodbye and he said goodbye and there was chit chat so there might be another minute or two that i take off at the end of this however um you know i'll then move these elements over the uh the ending music well, I, I i know him by association not i gotcha. wouldn't say i could call him up yeah um, exactly 
Um, just call me. Put your think that, thinking cap on. Well, no, the interview is now over. So where does she end it? I wasn't sure why, but that one, that one for some reason, I think it's an amazing production as well. We have just scratched the surface today of this amazing. Yeah, okay. So they're still going. I think it's right around here. She says, uh, the next, until next time, be well. Um, could be in television, could be an actor. It doesn't even, you know, is any BradleyRapier.com. We are going to have that link in our show notes. Bradley, you're such an inspiration, and your path is. Yeah, okay, this is where he says goodbye. Into it, right? We do. Yes. Thank you we so do. much. Thank you, Bradley, for being here today. Great time. Thank you, Liz. And may all of you find your group. Until next time, be next well. Time, be well. Okay, so we're not going to use any of this here. Uh, be well is the end of the show. I will show you a couple more things here. So I'm going to highlight both of those and bring it back down here. That's where she says, be well. Your best life. Until next time, be well. Okay, so the music is going to come in somewhere around here. Is It's a great example of the greatness. And I'm going to have that music fade up in this case. Sometimes I like it to just come in. Again, your path has certainly not been linear. It's been all over the place. But I think what is terrific about it is it's a great example of the greatness that exists within all of us. Yeah, we that's just have to groove into it, right? We do. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bradley, for being here. All right, this is all messy here. Uh, so I'm going to end up like silencing this and cutting some of out, cutting some out of what Liz says. We just have to groove into it, right? We do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bradley, for being here today. Yeah. Great time. Thank you, Liz. And may all of you find your groove. Break free from the stress or the burnout or the fear. Find that groove and live your best life. Until next time, be well. And then I do this little outro thing, and that starts just after the music comes up. Break free from the stress or the burnout or the fear. Find that groove and live your best life. Until next time, be well. All right, that has to come up right about here after the be well be well it's too loud i'll bring that down a bit and then my voiceover comes in let's try that be well All right, it's got to come in real quick you don't want to lose the tempo of an ending until next time be well bum, 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 bum. This podcast is brought to you. And I'm going to come in on that second beat. And I'll lower the volume a little bit. And use my move tool and come in a little bit sooner. Next time, be, be well. well. This podcast is brought to you in part by Fast Twitch Media, helping people tell their story. Yeah, that's stories. it. And giving them worldwide reach. Dot space. Okay, so that's how it ends. And it's much easier because I've built a template. It's much easier now. All I have to do is export this. Let's do that. Um, I would, it's, I'm not done yet with it, but I just want to show you how I would export it. We would go to uh, File, Export, Multi Track Mix Down, Entire Session. This is how we get it into an MP3 file. Now, mine is set up to automatically come out. Uh, as an mp3 file but if it's not selected you go here and you click the box here you make sure you know where you're putting this mp3 file so that you can grab it later and then you hit okay down here that's it um, i know this one's a little bit longer but i hope it's helpful and can't wait to see you all in class peace out